hey Rick. Sorry I, I started streaming and stepped away to get water. So far so good. Today was a lazy day. I did a whole lot of nothing. And uh, I mean I did some cleaning, some straightening up, and then streamed. Took a break for food and now I'm back. How's your weekend? There we go. Yeah, I like did the big one and two, but eh. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, nice. I am bereft of any game to play in at all right now. This seems to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Um, yes and no. The hard part is, I really love to run a show on my channel, but I want to be able to pay people. Oh God. I just wanted a screenshot. Well, that was decisive. But also, I have now have a day job again, so... I need to be realistic about time. So what do you think? That we'd be lucky to make it out alive. Really? It's as bad as that? Oh, I love this. I love, uh... <laughs> Too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Well, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing car. <laughs> so, any chance? How does a merchant <laughs> Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran, leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. But he sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. Yeah, and I don't know. I'm feeling a way about just, again, not being on any shows, not doing anything. It feels like people have forgotten I exist. I think you're the ruffians. But if you promise to lend us a hand, for your troubles. Serious. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. Hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee. I GM two seasons of rivals. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, DM. Your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take one end. I mean, it was the next to last season, so I mean, they're all on YouTube. I'm not sure I trust those two. And I DM season eight, so I should probably take. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. 
These must be our bandits. Yeah, I just said they're on YouTube. I did not mean to use... All 15 seasons are on YouTube. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> them dealt with. Now, where's that cart? Come on, guys, just let me break the board. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. Uh. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior hawk. <coughs> Excuse me. And you've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Oh my god, they're not gonna make me haul this to the market? I'm surprised. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. Wow. There's no need to be so rude, brother. Hey, Melissa. What if we want his help again next time? Wow. How goes? Settling into the new place well? Good luck getting your your shit together. I did not mean to use a potion. Dalmec's lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The part yeah. the team is on the other side. Oh no. Good. 
Good boy, Torgal. Get it, boy. That sounds like an unwanted adventure. Melissa, you want to have a laugh at my expense? Because I think it's funny. I don't know why, where my brain was when I made the the graphic for PAX West. I put Eastern. I don't know why I put Eastern. It's in Seattle. Oh, the final sin. So this is the A land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here. At these falls. Wow. So the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths. Perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious. And punished man for his defiance. By visiting upon him. Two curses. Magic. Dominance in bearers. What? Hey, Simwife. Truth. I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. A curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other. <laughs> oh, the graphics are amazing. It is PS5 only, though. Just so you know. Enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. Minotaur. Minotaur, how are you? We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. Then we'll have to keep our wits about us. Hmm. Where's Gav? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. How's your day been, Simwife? Meanwhile... Ah... I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. Nice. What you gaming? How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. Oh my god. There hey, Flower Crown. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. 
and then Valisthea. All shall bow before their empire. Oh, thanks for the gift, sir. Sir my Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. Oh. Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Oh boy. Oh shit. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. What are these flowers? Show the world the true power of Sambrek. These flowers are killing me. you much changed is this truly or are these the ambitions of another and you say of Ultima perhaps what nonsense is this I speak my mind and my mind only though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of oh no regarding the nature of nation of rulers and of the <sighs> kill her you will trust the words of this traitress she betrayed her country she slew her husband you have ever been an invaluable servant to sambrek prince dion I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heavy. Jesus! Forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Right. Paying you that you will not inherit your father's throne. Kill her. I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? I want to kill her. I would kill all of them. I couldn't be a dominant. The Brocklab markets are to the north. She's evil. I want her head. I really just want her head. Probably. That's what good game developers do. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. Don't mind me, I just want to take a picture. It's not as if we can wait for the siege to end.
Ah, uh, there's field of view. Also, the voice actor for Gab is so sweet. He has been retweeting fan arts and engaging with fans. He's just so stoked to, to voice Gab. It's adorable. More refugees. For the crystalline dominion. Yeah, I've been making a couple wallpapers. Crystal's blessing. What the? Well. Uh, I will tell you in a moment because I have to go. I have to go look at the tweeters because I don't know off the top of my head. It is mostly a UK cast for this game. So I don't know many of the voice actors. And Ben Starr is the voice actor for Clive. Josh Wickard Wichard is the guy who tells you to go get some uh, soup to deliver soup. Christopher York is who voices Gav. Uh, I was going to find it because, yeah. There are no crystals here. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Wow, that's not... That's not really a... From a crystal water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... A How much for a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. They are more than welcome to look. Mm. That's his Twitter profile directly. Uh, I found him after I was... Otherwise, unlawful and illegitimate <sighs> occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to... It could also be Twitter. ...all who seek entry at a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. But can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find Goot, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. You 
You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Oh, I'm sure. the Empire's black shields? Apparently they've been going around Imperial lands stringing up bearers. <laughs> oh, there you are. Clive, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goot. Just tell us what happened. It's me traitor's pass. It's gone. I'm gonna murder you. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? Oh my god. Okay, a minute ago, then a burn bumped into me and... Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime... Oh my god, how are you a traitor? So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Oh, I hate this. I, start. <gasps> I, I know where. I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Oh my god. She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. It's <sighs> got a red chuck up on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of his stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. I hate these. F and the other on our purses. Next to the checkpoint. Out of my sight, wretch. I know you well made. Farewell. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What are you looking for? You've a discerning eye. May Gilbert smile upon you. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Don't go, El. He's my mate. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Bocklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Oh my god. Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. <laughs> it's told us that you know the markets well. I deeply hate <laughs> missions like this. could have done this. We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me. Oh my god, lady, just fucking help me or not. Well, I can't say for sure who took your pass. But I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. No, there's not a lot of these missions. I just personally hate them. I've always hated them in games. Which is probably why I bounce off MMOs so easily. Ever 
Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet, none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want yes. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait, but... The guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Now, I've always just had kind of a special hate for missions like this where you have to go and chase people and and then you're usually like two feet away from the people you need and the quest giver I'm just like you can literally turn your head and see them are you the furniture maker Looking for something in particular? Ah, and Louise collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. No, I don't, because I'm not a quest designer. There's a difference. will be different there fish for sale fresh sorted and smoked can i interest you in... ah sorry message from eloise is it she's asked me to help her to help you find the pickpockets is that so suppose i better tell you what i know then for one this isn't a family operation all the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty dressed in rags Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. 
A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? <laughs> Sorry. Um, someone, I asked someone to do a thing and they literally did it. I love Dr. B. That was 40 yards. 40 yards. You won't find anything of this quality in twin side. Come and taste my peaches. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Wow, rude child. asking children like you to pick pockets I don't know nobody's asked me what's picking pockets to get paid for it no uh, you get in trouble for it so if they come calling you know what to tell them I'm sure that child knows exactly what pickpocketing is uh, excuse me what do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal. She stole it. She's too anxious. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he, he said he got a job doing something dangerous. That sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Also, that sword Clive is carrying is bigger than she is. Come on, come on. 
If it's not her directly, she's helping this friend of hers. Some wife, are you still here? Are you off in your own game? She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Daddy, I'm hungry. Yeah, and I'm broke. Enough of your whining. Aha. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, where are you going? I swear to God, if I gotta chase this child. Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. That's fine. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. Daddy, I'm hungry. That's that, then. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. Oh, interesting. Oh, I went the wrong way. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Oh, shit. I'm cornered. It's all right, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but bread doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hunter. You found him, then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> You're... him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. And here they are. Cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Oh my god, you goofus. Him. He pushed him off with one hand. We're making a mistake. We're on the no problem. Side. Have a good night. That brooch. Where did you get it? Uh, must it feel? Uh, goods. What are you doing with these people? Unless 
You're the ones my sister was talking Oh my god, you doofus people. Oh my god, these doofus ass people. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Balklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones, and we crush them. You get your traders passed back, and I make Boglad a safe place again. All right, then. All right, then. Uh, okay, Theo. Honza, <laughs> where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told them. <sighs> Couldn't if I could. <sighs> it always comes down to check the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then. Leighton's Cleft is to the south, past the camp. Oh my god. This dude. Ugh. Excuse me. I should not be yawning. I did not get the best sleep. So how was everyone's weekend? That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should have minded your own. These were the ringleaders, but at least we know we're on the right track. Excuse me. We got company! That's the lot of them. 
Rude. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. took oh nice yeah, I'm gonna drive in in like 30 years excuse me I was debating adding a little rum to my coke but I think that'll put me right to sleep Recruits are natural ball ne'er do wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Fuck! It's that guard from Bocklad! Kill him! Kill them all! Really? I thought I ducked. Woof. Ow. Yes, give me that stagger. Oh, excuse me. They say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, 
rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Oh, my God. I almost went to the coffee, but the hunt my brother isn't getting in your way i trust quite the opposite i think i need some coffee so it was the cast stones who were behind it all theo told me he'd been on their trail and their demise solves three problems at a spring that of the pickpockets the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. Ow. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods has passed. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way, then. It wouldn't do to leave without introducing... Wow. Well. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. Is he going to join our party? Together again. It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. So wait, he knows who the fuck I am anyway? What is it? Elle has friends in high places while I have associates in, uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Oh. <sighs> 
Ha! I shall bury with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's path should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... Nine million? We'll... Try the caravan. Nine million what? <laughs> On to the Dominion. Goots is as bright as a pack of nothing. I got I got no good. I got nothing good. Discerning eye. Out of my sight, wretch. I want to stab whoever keeps saying that to me. Of snake spit for the road. The caravan stops next to Juicy the Juicy What I really want to be is a blacksmith. Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass! You found it! Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Miss O's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out the stables. It's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Nah, that's all right. I've got it back now. Oh my god, Goots. That ends well, eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be your first customer. I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll, I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? Gates is not the brightest crayon in the box. Place on the wagon. Remember, Gus, we're mercenaries. You hired us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> oh my God. Remember the plan. You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperial's defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. Right. Let's go. I kind of want Clive's boots. I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on San Breck. Be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. Better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, 
When first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts. And more than a few at that. Beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated Ow. victory. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. The fucking flower! What do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. ...that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier... ...his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel... ...and not with tar. <sighs> Fork-tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. He has far more control than I do. I would have turned to Bahamut and fried her ass right there. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrek. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now. And as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. Such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea.
I should like nothing more. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored. Well now. I can't go anywhere else. Oh shit. Oh, so I've checked mod chat in Saharan as well. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. When they're afraid, they turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? My whole fucking life. Okay. Nobody said that but you, but okay, have a good night. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. I was a little drunky. On fire. I'm sure Goose is fine. He'll be making for the square. Lips. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? Ugh. 
the fuck? That is so not obvious. going on let's go and see right mm, second but first we find goods I just hope he's all right <clears throat> Do we have to? Huh! <laughs> 
Uh, not this game leveling me up literally in the middle of a fight. There's no doubt about it. They're dragoons. What is this then? A civil war? Not a mud crab. left. Where in Grigger's name did you right. come from? Yeah, or, oh my god. Brian. Brian. Goes, Brian. Intruders! The front of the gate! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
Oh, so you are going to Gen Con? Jesus Christ. Sorry, something fell off. Okay, that was a little creepy because none of that should fall down. <sighs> Sorry, that weirded me out because uh, my Sephiroth just nosedived off the fucking entertainment center for no good reason. So he's going to lay down. That really weirded me out because it was just sudden. Oh, I'm fine. There was just literally no reason for him to have fallen off the entertainment center unless the upstairs neighbors are walking around that hard. Nothing should have fallen off the entertainment center just out of the blue. It just kind of freaked me out a little bit. No, I'm fine. Like I said, it just weirded me out. Okay, before I go further, I'm going to go get a quick bio. So I'll be back in like two to three minutes.
Hey, Puddle. Sorry, I stepped away for a quick bio break. Um... How are you, Puddle? How goes, Puddle? Stop! In the name of His Highness! I'm hurt. Stay down. Jesus. Dragoons don't do well against lightning Oh, not at all what I wanted. Aha. Who goes there? In the prince's name, none shall pass. Oh, thanks, some wife. I didn't even catch that. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm hurt, Torgal. To me, boy. I'm hurt, Torgal. We can't have a long time. Was that a bot somewhere? Uh, okay, thank you. Can you see him anywhere? Hey, Bob, what you doing? Oh, that's not Bahamut. What the fuck is this? That's not Bahamut. Is it about a clock? Oh, it's like that dragon fight, I see. Feel free to add other mods in the channel if you need backup.
second. Apparently I can't type. Okay. Still. I keep dodging that. What in the actual fuck? What in the actual fuck? Come on. Oh my god! I was doing okay. Whatever that is, it does a lot of damage. If I die again, I may just call it, because... I'm tired, and this is more... Hello, thank you for the raid. What were y'all... Were you still doing Stardew for the rest of it? Uh, you all have arrived in the middle of a boss fight, however. So, uh, pardon me. Oh shit! Hi, Misty! Welcome on in, everybody! Uh, Malavent, if you want, you can put a disregard in the, uh, in the mod chat. Kelly, 
Really? You, it's fine. I'm just stressed. Are you home home? Did you have a good time? Oh, time to not be there. I'm also probably got the wrong strat for this dragon. Hello. Oh, no. Oh. I may go out. I ain't gone out like a punk. Oh, please take this phoenix. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Imperial. Misty. This motherfucking dragon. Welcome, everybody, though. I will be with you once we get through this, dra this dragon fight. I didn't know there'd be a dragon fight. No, not a dragon dance, no! I'm hitting it in the butt. I didn't agree to hit it in the butt. I'm a heart turgle. I need this dragon to please let me live. Aww. Did you? Uh, Kelly, it's because you have a beautiful voice. Oh my god. Uh, Missy, you can give yourself a shout out if you want. Oh, blessings. Die, dragon, die. You're almost dead. And I... Oh God. Hi everyone. Welcome on in. Sorry, I did not give you a proper welcome. You, you arrive in the middle of a dragon fight. Ooh, woof. Misty, how was the rest of, um, Stardew? Aww. The pictures you posted are very cool. Uh, for those who didn't see, Kelly the Opera Geek. Uh... Uh, finally got to meet Doug Cockle, the voice of the Witcher. Doug is a sweetheart, and I'm very glad you all finally got to meet. What was something about driving somewhere in October? Although, my guess is it probably conflicts with something. I'm still on the fence about TwitchCon.
I could murder him right now. Dudes, there you are. Ah. Uh, can you send me the info so I don't go to TwitchCon? Maybe, maybe I could try to go to that one and surprise Doug. Although I will not be in cosplay. As all I've done for TwitchCon is booked a room. Oh, Bahamut, what are you doing? <sighs> Dion, what are you doing? Poor Dion. I have to admit, from what has happened so far. Dion has supreme fucking self-control. <gasps> Holy shit! <sighs> I'm sorry, why is he firing on everyone? <gasps> Dion, what are you doing? Oh, I'm toward the end. You, this is all, it will be a while before you get there. We must leave. Now, Your Grace, I beg of you. This is not what he wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yud, but I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! Yeah, I love one Kelly. Holy shit, Bahamut. No! No! <gasps> hey, Commander, how are you? Welcome on in. We are in an intense fight in Final Fantasy 16. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome, Commander Stephanie Sterling. What were y'all doing? Uh, can I get a shout out for Commander Sterling? Thank you. What what were you all doing? Just chatting or? Please get sleep, Steph, please. But thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Holy shit. Welcome on everybody. Uh, name Cypher. I do a lot of variety. Today's variety is more Final Fantasy 16 because I wanted to get as close to done as I can before Baldur's Gate drops. The Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And the helmet has gone for now. You should get as far. Night. I will. I will message you tomorrow about Exo Primal. I'm curious on your thoughts on it because I did, I bounced off it kind of hard. Everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. None would never forgive us if I did. Oh shit, we got a mobile store. Oh, this can't be good that we have a mobile fucking store. Let me get this stuff out. I've got some good stuff for you. <sighs> Diamond sword. Yes. It does less damage, though. It's only 3,000. Thank you. No. Is 
is there else you need? Uh, I feel like I'm going to need these. Thank you. Twenty thousand, Jesus. <laughs> I figured as much. Thank you. Uh, semi. Should I have gotten? You need another potion slot by now. How else you don't need? Ah. I think I counted that right. <laughs> All done then. You want us to make you something? Ah. Uh. Hey, we can make me an extra. All right, all right. Yes, she did it right. Reckon I did a good job. Oh my god, you're going to irritate me. Did I do it right? I hope you like it. Ah, I did it. You don't want me to make yours out else? Oh wait... Something I was gonna improve... I am one point short. I cannot stand this. One point. All right, we're at let's save. Oh, all right. You be brave now, boy. Drake's tail is right there, Hell. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. Oh, it's past time. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. Something's wrong with Dion. <laughs> no more roads. We'll have to find our own path. Do you feel that, Clive? Ether. Yo. Just what we need. Another flood. It's already turned them. Then there's no reason to hold back. Okay, why is the music so fucking sad?
Why is the music so sad? Uh... Don't tell me that some wife I'm gonna be sad or I need to change one of the abilities for Garuda. Didn't mean to actually use that, but here we go. I hate the lich. Jill, right now is not the time for your fucking optimism. I'm down with the tornado. Boomst is left. Really? Is. 
Joshua! I'm here, brother! Clive. He can't hear you. Jill. Jill, I need... I need you to... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Magic, great. Great, you're using magic. Right? Like, I got somewhere to be. This is gonna be like another eight hour fight, so I'm like, oh, shisa. Ha! Apparently, Clive agrees. Oh, not this bullshit again. Oh, that hurt. game I really are those the council chambers how are they still standing I don't know Well, shit. He'll be all right, Clive. 
He's a survivor. Clearly, because we all thought he was dead all this time. We're getting close. What in the Kentucky Fried Fuck? Oh, that was uncalled for. Where am I? Not you using Faraga on me, you son of an Antivan whore. Incredibly rude. Sorry, I'm not talking much. Ethan Daga? What the fucking fuck? Yeah. <sighs> 
Yo, what in the absolute fuck? is in Firaga. Something I'm hitting this thing with is doing literally zero. Are you serious I didn't level? Oh. Thanks, some wife. These beasts. They're getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. Dennis. I hate that the camera shifted just as I saved. <sighs> oh, I mean, I, I figured as much. Do I have to go through a door? Is it I walk so far and he attacks me? I don't think I'm up to Bahamut after all that. Well, that answered that. Hey, Frank. How was your stream? What were you up to? What were y'all doing? So I know you started the day with some of the, the core. Hello, hello. Quiet. Welcome in, Raiders. Kill her. He, he tried to take him from me. Oh, my boy. Wait, well, hold on. Hold the fuck on. Hold on. Thanks, Winter. 
Enjoy your food. Hold on. She... She... This entire bitch. This entire bitch. Answer him. This entire fucking bitch. Show some respect for those who raised you. <laughs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blood? I hate her. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as the bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Wow. I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I did that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. You sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! Kill her. Firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered. Oh my god, you horrible bitch. Do you ever know how that feels? It should have been you. Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment. We spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Holy shit! My darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive? Oh shit! What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here! The Phoenix lives on! He's battling Bahamut as we speak! Kill her! What just happened? Let her die. <gasps> Joshua. Joshua. Wake up. I am a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you... <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Yo, Clive! Where the fuck was this before? Hi, Frank! <laughs> I hope you are great. Oh, also, we have some bots happening. Okay, he didn't even dither. He didn't hesitate. Drive. Drive. Oh, I am. Uh, Malevent is ahead of me. I know the final boss fight is a lot. Oh shit! I'm it's the fight. I didn't think we were happening right now. Oh god. <laughs> Yo. 
Yeah, I missed this whole part on other people's streams. <gasps> oh my god, is he using me as a chew toy? Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, what kind of action movie bullshit is this? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> really? Did you finish it? Finish it? I love how he's like, fuck. Uh. Oh, that's so beautiful. Rip the mother crystal. Oh, wow. I mean, I saw the final fight on Case's stream. I think I missed yours because daytime streaming. Okay, that is beautiful. Oh, I don't want to fight Dion. Why? Why are you standing on me? Why? Oh, shit. Oh my god, what the fuck? Holy shit! Clive's learned the ability Spit Flare from Bahamut. Press R2 and triangle to release a massive stream of light that sears anything in its path. Use L to aim. Use X at any time to cancel the attack. Extending exposure to the flare will cause enemies to become partially staggered, canceling an in. Oh, okay. Who the fuck are you? Oh, God. You know what, Dion? I was trying to be your friend. <laughs> right? Shout out to Elden Ring for teaching me to dodge. <laughs> you know what? You are irritating me, Dion. I wanted to like you. Where is he? Okay, I'm having a real hard time aiming this. What in the absolute fucking fuck is this? Thank you, 
Okay, he's... I don't want to fight Dion, why are you like this? Okay, but Joshua's helping out. Oh, hi. Yes. Sorry, Dion. Okay, now we're doing some damage. Now we're doing some damage. Oh, what in the absolute fuck? is he doing? Oh no. Shit. Can't reach him. Don't do this. No. Oh shit, Giga Flare. Brother. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh wait, am I Joshua now? Oh, this is so fast. Embodying the Phoenix again. Move, aim, fire, charge, fireball, evade. L while holding circle to lock on multiple targets. Loose circle to launch a volley of fireballs. I'm no good at aerial combat! Hi, Brian! Oh, not Mega Flare, please. Oh, that was an ass beating. Oh, it's like that. Ju okay, fucking Dion. Ah. Uh. Do I flip every time I throw a fireball? Ugh. Sorry if I'm absolutely not paying attention to the chat.
Dion, I'm beating your entire ass when the scene is over. Beating the absolute brakes off me. Ah, uh, Dion, I don't like you. Fuck you. Fuck your boyfriend. Fuck your kingdom. I tried to be your friend, and this is what we did. Not Mega Flare. I dodged a. Must you? Why the founder? Those things are drawing in more ether than I've ever seen. Not getting a flare. <gasps> oh, shit. Deep breath. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm going to take a minute because my wrist hurts. My throat is dry. And who oh boy. That actually hurt. Actually, I'm going to take a quick bio break. Before I come back to this. I hate this part mainly just because it's making my wrist hurt. And it's also making me a little motion sick. But we're getting there. All right, uh, moderators, you have the calm. I'm going to take a hot minute, get a bio stretch, and uh, get some much-needed water. BRB.
Oh, I missed Frank leaving. Ah, well. All right, shall we go again? All right. Uh. Well, here we go. I'm dodging. All right, what's the hint? Cause that's bullshit. That should not kill me that quickly. Because if I keep dying... That's what I was doing. That's what I started to do. It's the fact that Giga Flare is taking me out in literally a couple of hits. That's my problem. Giga Flare shouldn't fucking take me out like that. 
That's bullshit. You gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You saw I focus on them and it was almost down. Really? I'm trying, but the game is kind of fucking with me.
Joshua! Dion beating everything about you. So close to being done. Fuck, if that didn't take Dion out, I don't know what did.
Did he just leave? Oh, I was like, if he gets to just fly away, I'll be so pissed. What now? You've got to be kidding me. This is drinking me. We have to stop him. Okay, that's fucking sick. That not kill us. God, where are you? 
fuck. Sorry, I'm not talking all during this fight. I'm trying to dodge that bullshit.
You're not running for me, Dion. Fuck you. Fuck are you? Hi, Panda. Hi, Pralt. Is that it for real? Damn, we shattered it with Dion's Lance. I hope we get to kill her! This horrible bitch! Sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. Yeah. 
I never dared hope that I would see this day. This is for my father. You can have another, right? <laughs> the mother crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. I owe him a debt. Fine. Yes, we have bar, Mike. Can nothing be done to call them off? I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! Go! Your Radiance! And I want you to find out if you can about the Dalmec's movements. By the light! Dion, have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the Dragoons at once! Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, Father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, Iterus Annabella. <laughs> not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. 
And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne. But cut his strings, and the master loses her power! What? Tion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! Guards are like, nah, fuck that, we ain't fighting. For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire? Of its rulers? Of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Brother. <gasps> See, that should be your cue something's wrong with this child. Not her screaming as if she cares. Gods! Father. Poor father. How he doted on his children. Wow, you're evil. It was but a matter of when. You planned this. You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end. What the fuck? And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. <laughs> Story. Not firemen carrying Dion. Kill her. I cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. Don't give her your hand, Joshua.
Mother. Consciousness that weaves your wills together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Relax, your majesty. Benedict is dead. Ah. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile worlds with strands of consciousness. A wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos, and sever every one. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. Barnabas is not okay. <sighs> A 
Am I really cut off from everything? How is your brother? Asleep, since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. I won't be happy if I disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. Oh, I'm about to end. Oh, no. Good luck, Semlife. I am... Um... I'm gonna save and get out of here. Did not realize we'd be doing the Bahamut fight. So, question for chat. <laughs> um, let's see, there's a few options. There's case of playing Exoprimal. Bronze is on playing Remnant 2. Nyx has been on more than 12 hours. The Toon Zomdi has 8 million viewers. London Bradshaw's on. T Pain's on, but he does not need any viewers. He also never notices when you raid him. Uh, Simwife, I sent you a text. What question?
who else is on? Um... Let's just raid bronze because uh, she had me on the other night. Raid that bronze girl. Bahamut. Raid. All right. I'm going to go call it a night because I actually have to work tomorrow and have a meeting as soon as I log in. If I'm up early enough, we may do some more Final Fantasy. We may do more Tears of the Kingdom or, surprise, mini painting. Depends on when I get up and how organized I am in the morning. But let's go see what Bronze is doing. Thank you all so much for coming by for not one but two streams today. And uh, if I'm not on tomorrow, then I'll definitely be on uh, Tuesday, either before or after work. Bye, y'all.